She was like my best friend. These pictures, and especially this one, is very important because I got to see my mom when she was little. First, I'd like to show you this very foxy picture of my grandmother. <laughs> my grandfather he liked to take pictures of himself a lot. This is him when he was like 21. It's like snazzy, he had a suit and stuff. It's really handsome. The pictures that we have are really what represent our family because we only have them for a short time. Without the stories, and the pictures, somehow, we don't really have a sense of who we are. So I brought too many pictures, but that's okay. <laughs> my mother's family was better documented than my father's. She went to Brooklyn College when she was 40 years old. I wanted to make a connection between my mother's desire to be educated and how important that was to her. And being at Brooklyn College, that Brooklyn College was a place for her that represented liberation. Just a funny story about me and my mom. We were walking out of a supermarket and an elderly woman said, you know, you guys make such a cute couple. <laughs> and I was like, okay. This is in, I believe, 1994. I was five years old and my sister was 15. My mom came here when she was 18 from Dominican Republic and she left my sister there with um, her godmother to take care of her. So it was like the first time that I really, you know, got to spend time with her. I met her when I was like four. So it was our first birthday together. Here's my mother smiling to the camera, pissed as hell <laughs> that my father went into the army and left her with a little kid. He was on the equivalent of MASH in World War II, but on a boat. And they were at many of the major, <sighs> the major battles. He came home pretty crazy from it, actually. But they also had a great time, you know, just like MASH. It's very important for us to remember where we came from. It's very important for us to remember that we didn't get to where we are without other people. This picture on my phone is of my grandmother. Her name is Yafa. I think her maiden name was Golden. Now it's Han Larsky. This is a picture of her in the Israeli army. I think that the whole concept of getting people to consider and remember the past through their families, through people who they're genetically related to and who helped to create the situation that got them here and that moved them forward, it's, it's tremendously important. I That's guess, it. Now that you're getting emotional in the last few minutes, man. That's what pictures bring up, you know, that's so connected to our hearts and memories. Especially for people who are not no longer with us. This is me and my brother-in-law who passed away last year due to a sudden heart attack. And so it's been, he's been a very special person in my life who's taught me a lot about laughter and a lot about play. And then I brought a picture of my mom in school. She calls me her angel because I'm like one of the first ones to go to college. I grew up Catholic and my family was actually very not accepting until I actually came out. And then it was like, well, hell with that, you know, we love our kid. There was bins of pictures and I went through all of these pictures. My favorite one is with me, my mother, and my brother. My name is Makita. I'm 17 years old and go to watch high school. This is a picture of my grandparents at their reception. They got married in Dalmica, Roseau. 
They grew up together. <laughs> it's very important to know your history. Not only your cultural history, where you come from, but your family history. Last year, when I went home for my uncle's funeral, I brought two bags of photos. And this is a sort of tip of the iceberg, because I figured who knows what will happen to them. And I'm in the process of preserving them at home. The real reason why I decided to do this project is because my mom was in surgery a few days ago, and these moments are so precious. I came to Brooklyn College after owning my own business. Um, I run a daycare out of my home. I am the oldest of six girls and one boy. This is one of the girls, which is now 21 and going to college. This is the next one. She's 18, also is going to college. This, these are the only baby pictures. Photographs really embody for us that opportunity to look at a complete narrative. This is who I am and this is where I come from. But it also allows us to kind of reflect a little bit on where we're going with this.